Hey guys, welcome to this episode of Ben Busters. We're out here today doing some fun stuff, and I'd call it fun stuff, wouldn't you? It's fun, there's no doubt about it. What are we doing today, Doug? So what we're doing, historically in the past, we would come in a, at around V9, V10, V12, somewhere in that time frame, and apply Veltima fungicide with some other stress mitigation products and various micronutrients. So today, we're doing it in a little different fashion. In the past, we've always used a ground rig, and in this geography, it's tough to get a ground rig through and try to get it at the perfect timing and get good coverage. Today, we're doing something a little bit different. Today, we're using a drone. Yeah, it's the first time we've done it, uh, you know, with an our organization. For you and I, especially, I know we've done some stuff in some research plots mm -hmm. with Winfield and things of that nature, but what we're seeing here today, we're, we're trying to monitor coverage. We're trying to monitor, you know, what kind of canopy penetration we're getting with this drone. So, so we have some water sensitive paper out here today, <clears throat> you know, that's been our biggest concern amongst ourselves, amongst the growers we work with. You know, our geography, these drones are going to be a really good play for us because of our small, uneven, you know, field sizes. Yeah, the ability to get in and out of tight places that we can't do with an airplane. Exactly. You know, we like utilizing the airplane. We feel the coverage we get with it is very sufficient the way we get the downwash coming over the wings. But, you know, with what we're seeing here with the drone, we're going to take a look at some of these water sensitive paper tests and see yeah. where we're at. So what's the whole idea behind this this application? You know, we always talk about it, you and I make it, but what's what's the driving force? We don't really have disease here, so why are we doing it? So what we're trying to do here, you know, from a plant health standpoint is we use the fungicide once the ear leaf comes out and the ear leaf comes out around V9. So once that ear leaf comes out, I don't want it to have a bad day at all. I want this plant to be healthy. So what we're trying to do is load the fungicide into the plant to keep it healthy until we make our second pass at R2, R3 with another fungicide product. Basically like what I'm doing with the soybeans, where I'm making two passes across them, you know, trying to keep that plant healthy the entire time. You know, at home for us, where we're on a continuous corn rotation, because corn after corn is a rotation for us, you know, we have high disease pressure. We, want to, we want to protect that we do need this two pass fungicide program. And you've done it for a couple of years with some other growers who are in the same situation we are. And what kind of yield difference are you seeing on that? It, it ranges, but the ROI is huge. You that's know. the nicest way to say it yeah, yeah. yeah. without speaking about the bushels we add the roi is huge and that was big at 450 corn you yeah. know as we stand here today we're at 550 corn because we're not good marketers <laughs> yeah. but you know seven dollar corn is something you know when we have seven yeah, that corn, roi calculator really changes yeah you, you know and we're doing it like we talk from the plant health aspect but one thing that's critical in this application we talk about micronutrients and one of the key micronutrients that we have at this stage of the game in this tank is boron Yep. And you think of boron and its benefit to the plant, especially in the reproductive portion. So we're trying to get it into this plant. The tissue tests um, historically show that we need boron going into the reproductive stage. So where we're at here pre-tassel, we're getting it into the plant so we don't have any deficiencies in the reproductive, early reproductive stages. So as we know a lot of our boron's already taken up. R2, R3. So right now is our opportunity to get more boron on this, on, in this corn with the drone. If we do it with the airplane or the drone again, R2, R3, we're going to miss that window because the time is packed. But when we get to R2, R3, we switch up our micro pack a little bit and we're going to focus on other things at that time. So, Absolutely. And that's where we, you know, we're always tissue sampling in these fields, trying to get an idea of what that plant wants, what it needs. We look at the nutrient uptake curve to see what it needs. You know, based on all those things combined, we make our recommendations before we apply these nutrients or fungicide or whatever we're doing. Yep. So, Absolutely. 